So Phil, we've been out with you the last couple of days and I suppose you've been based kind of between Wiltshire and Dorset spreading a good bit of digestate. Um, and where we were yesterday, you had your big Zerian 4000 out uh, spreading digestate from one of the AD plants outside Warminster, I think it was. Digestate spreading and liquid waste in general is obviously a massive part of your business. So how did you actually get into it? I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a long time. It's mm -hmm. been a long time. We, we got offered a, to take a milk waste from a milk factory probably 30 years ago, like. And so it was with tractors and tankers to find the land and to spread it. That's when I bought my first tanker and started you know, spreading it around the milk factory, basically, yeah. like. Um, and we actually done that milk factory for near 20 years. The milk factory was getting busier and busier. And then we put in the lorries because we had to take more and more liquid away. At first we were, we were using sort of 20 acres a week. Then we ended up using nearly sort of 10 acres a day. So our land base was getting more and more like, you know, so we, 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 we're needing more land to spread this waste on. Um, so then I bought my first lorry. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and then once I had a lorry, I was being offered more and more work from other, other things, which that was way before digesters and AD plants were being used, like, you know. Um, so um, we were doing a lot more milk waste, a lot more milk factories that we were using. So we were actually spreading and blood as well from slaughter yards and things like that we were spreading. So we had land banks, as we would call it, in different areas. So we were the only ones at the time actually doing it in the yeah. south. So we've been called from all angles, or from Devon, Somerset, Dorset, whatever. We Wiltshire, were taking, we were, yeah, we were taking food waste from everywhere. Yeah. And in the first year of buying my first lorry, I had three lorries before the end of the first year. Yeah, so, and you're running a, a good fleet of them now, anyway. Yeah, we run ten Arctic's and um, three Rigids, but the um, Arctic's they're basically. We're doing a lot of digestates, 4AD plants we run around, and we also do land landfill sites for leachate. We do food waste, we do pig farms. Yeah. Um, so we do an awful lot back to land, like, you know. Because speaking of food waste, the Zerian that we caught in Wiltshire was spreading food waste on... From the AD plant yes. there, that, is, that AD plant is fed with, with food waste. Yeah. We do all the spreading from there. We do all the recording, we do all the, um, we have to find all the storage. We, we supplied a lot of storage ourselves. We bought, we bought um, tanks and put them up. We've done hose and, and done lagoons, um, all, all, all officially like. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've, we've kept our own storage like. So we would have in a region of probably about 35,000 tons of storage at this precise minute to cope with any winter storage like. Right. And that's increasing yeah. as legislation's changing, the window's getting tighter and tighter and we got less and less time to spread this, this waste on like, well, fertiliser, it's not a waste, it's a fertiliser. No. The mention of fertiliser, do you find that di the digestate side of things is starting to grow a little, especially in the last few months with the way that obviously the fertiliser prices are rising? Do you find things are changing in that regard? Well, certainly this year, certainly yeah. this year, I've had more phone calls that asked me for digestate, pig slurry, and whatever like mm -hmm. um, our biggest problem this year um, we got pig farms are, are reducing stock so there's not so much pig slurry because of the price of the pigs yeah the food digesters uh, are finding I think they're finding hard for uh, um, getting inputs going in like um, people are being more cautious on what they throw away and whatever like yeah. you know so so that is definitely there's is the availability is not quite there this year
going back to the machinery that you run, so the Zer you've actually got two Zerians. Yeah. You've got yep. a 3800 and then 4000 as well. What made you go towards the likes of the class for your, your spreading? There's lots of good products out there, lots of good machinery dealers, but they're all foreign like. The main of the, the slurry stuff is from Holland and places like that, and the backup is, is not there. We've, we've had really good machines on demo that would really have tickled me, like to have, but um, there is no way I could look at anything else other than the class, knowing that wherever we go, within 20 miles, there's a class dealer of where we tend to work from. Mm -hmm. And they all know there's is, is a class here on tractor, which is maintained, it's only what's chucked on the back of it that's different, really. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, the, the progression of, of what class have done with the zero on has been amazing. So we've had no reason to change, really. They give us a good service, and um, hence we had a few problems this morning. As you know, that we had a breakdown, and they've been out and they've got it going again, like, so yeah, here we go again. <laughs> because obviously on the older model, she's the 3800, is it, do you say it was an S, is it SGT? SGT, yeah. yeah, that's an SGT, and the other one is Coeco, all done by the same people, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've had three SGTs, now and then uh, the latest one was the Kuwaiko like uh, because SGT is no longer they sold out to Bauer. This new one is, is amazing it just you know so quick to load you know the tonnage per day goes up yeah so with the Kuwaiko is a lot more efficient now like and it's a lot more faster than the other one like. And then tractor wise we're running majority of them are Valtras you're obviously a fan of the brand yeah, no, I've I, I got no reason not to be. They do the job. The dealership is very good to us. Mm -hmm. The CJ Cox is very good to us. Dealt with them for many, many years. As long as they do us right, we'll, we'll keep having them, like, you know. I would say that we run tractors where we can get tractors. Mm -hmm. We run lorries where we can get lorries. And it's cheaper to run a lorry than it is to run tractors in running costs. The only, the only governing thing with a lorry is, is driver hours mm -hmm. and, and the availability of drivers. But to actually, if we're doing down the road um, at any distance, there's no doubt about it, lorries are cheaper to run than, than tractors like. Yeah. Even though they're big heftier things and whatever. But, and we can get better rates for a lorry than we can for a tractor. Yeah, and I suppose even like the amount of digestic that you can actually hold them, you can do so much more with the size of the tanker like. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And we, you know, people know what we do. You know, we, we do a lot of bulk hauling, you know, that, that's what we do, we do liquid. Mm -hmm. And um, all the local people know us for what we do. Turn and waste and if you, if you want, if you want a lot of poo moved, we move a lot of poo. Yeah, like, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually another thing that I spotted. You've got a fairly new Massey in the fleet as well, in, in amongst all the vultures, like. Yeah, we've got a couple of Masseys, and uh, we're running you know, 20 tractors. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know, there's, there's plenty to do, and it always there always is plenty to do. You're definitely keeping yourselves busy. Like. Well, yeah, well, yeah we, don't, we don't like to be bored. We don't like to be bored. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's so. that's absolutely brilliant, Phil. Thanks a million for having me out over the last couple of days it's been really interesting to see the digestate side of things and how obviously that has grown for you over the last few years I, I say the last few years but however many years that you've been doing it how things have expanded you know and it's really really cool to see so thanks a million for having me out you're very welcome thank you very much